should have seen him. He was waving the dog, running. He wasn't even he was just running. All right, very good. You're eager to be up here. All right, what is your name, sir? Ron. Ron. Okay, Ron. Let me just ask you, do you happen to have a wallet? You do? Uh, are you married at all? So you have no money in it, but um, <laughs> I'm joking. Let me see your, may I see your wallet, please? Very good. I promise not to damage it in any way. What's that? Jazz, yeah, Chaz the Magician. Okay, what, are you taking us down for notes or what? <laughs> okay. The IRS. Oh, I hear you. I, oh, I opened it up backwards. I'm sorry, Ron. Hold on, let's see what you had in here. Yeah, I opened it up backwards. I, I hate it. Let me see, what did you carry in here? Let me see what, we know it's not a bulk condoms from Costco. <laughs> All right, here we go. What the hell, Ron? What the hell? <laughs> Yeah, no, I do know. He says you never know. I know. You can put your wallet away. We're, I'm afraid to open it now. I, whatever, yeah, I I'll tell you what, Ron. I want to make sure you're the right guy to be up there. So what you do exactly as I do, just point your finger out like this. Fantastic. Reflections like a jungle cat. Very good. Make an okay sign. Very good. And then place it right here on your chin. Very good. Very good, Ron. Hey, who's got the lemon? that dollar bill now please thank you very much how many people here know and this is a true fact how many people here is including you Ron how many people here know that if you had a dollar bill if you only had three quarters of the bill if you took it to the bank they'd give you full value for this does anybody know this yes. okay are you a thief or a banker <laughs> she doesn't want to answer okay she's not sure <laughs> all right well it's true did you know that Ron it, yeah it's a true in fact let me explain something for instance if a quarter of the piece was torn that's also illegal to tear the whole corner off. You, you know that too, right? Or like to face the, um, the bill. It's illegal. Will you do me a favor? Just pinch your fingers like this. Very good. You're going to hold on to the piece right here. That way everybody can see that it's ripped. Can everybody see that it's ripped? Can you guys see that? Okay, hold on tight because I don't want to tear it. All right. Um, you did the tearing part. So let me explain something, Ron. If you were to take this piece... No, this piece of the bank, you'd get full value for. Do me a favor, just pinch onto your fingers like that. Very good. You're gonna, here's your receipt. Hold on, hold on. I don't want to lose it. Hold on, I got something here. Hold on, hold on. Clip this on here. Put that around your neck. This way you can't lose it. Fantastic. Very good. Now, Ron, I'm going to give you a chance to win your money back. You don't have to worry. They always get their money back. All right, pinch your fingers. Hold on to the rest of this part. Hold it high in the air. Thank you very much. I have an envelope here. May I borrow that? I will place it inside the envelope, and then I want you to stick out your tongue, and we're going to seal the envelope. <laughs> okay, I will do it. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, that's nasty. All right. Oh. Okay, Ron, hold on to the envelope with your money. Uh, you're, fill you're filling around it. Uh, yeah, you're filling around. You're filling around, aren't you? Okay, you can fill it, yes? Uh, yes, you can feel it, yes? Okay, very good, because I have two other ones that look just like that. All you have to do is keep your eye on the envelope that has your money. If you get it right, you win your money back. Here we go. Watch closely, Ron. Keep an eye on the envelope that has your bill. Ron, grab the envelope that has your bill. Okay, that was too easy. <laughs> that was too easy. Hold on, here. Try this again. I guess your wife really does take your money. All right. All right, Ron, here we go. I'll make it a little tougher. Have you been drinking tonight? Oh, hold on. Okay. Watch closely. Keep an eye on the envelope that has your bill. Ron, grab the envelope that has your bill. Oh, shoot. I said grab the envelope. Uh, uh, here, no, I'll pick it up. Yeah, I'm good. Thanks, Tom. Here, this will be fun. This will be fun. I'm going to mark these envelopes. Hold on. Here we go. Okay, um, <laughs> all right, here we go, here we go, <laughs> here we'll mark this with one, we're going to mark this one with number two, and this one here will be marked with number three. Ron, I would like you to choose a number that you think has your dollar in it, one, two, or three, guess right, and you get the money.
Ron, you're going to guess a number out of these three. I want you to grab a number. What the hell? You choose a number, one, two, or three. Out loud. This is, you know. One. All right, very good. Oh, hey, they seem to agree with you. Very good. Here's one. Now, this is the funny. He's already feeling around. Look. You can probably see through the lights, can you? Can you see something in there, Ron? Be honest. You know, you can. Go and take a look. Can you see something in there? There is, isn't there? Feel number two. Do you feel anything inside there, Ron? Yeah, how about number three? You feel anything inside there, Ron? No. Keep feeling. Because <laughs> this ain't the first time I've done this trick, Ron. Take your envelope number one, give me back number two. You said you wanted number one. Here's where the fun begins. You didn't want number three and you didn't want number two. I don't care, it's not my money. <laughs> See, don't be smart with me. All right. I'm gonna give you another choice. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. No, don't tear it. Yeah, we're building this shit up right now. This is my show, not yours, all right. Yeah, Ron, you don't, I don't need any help, trust me, all right? All right, Ron, I'm gonna give you a choice. Would you like to just stick with number one or go with envelope number three? Go with three. three. Okay, you're gonna take, well, it's up to you. Three, all right. Hold on, how would you like to go back with number one or stick with number three? Okay, nobody ever does this twice. You call it out three again. What's number? You want to stick with three? That's it. You made up your mind. Because you're going to get screwed in a second. <laughs> but I'll tell you what. I'm going to entice you to go back to number one. And by doing that, how about if you take envelope number one and I give you, ooh, this nice Ginsu knife from the 99 cent store. <laughs> Or are you gonna stick with number three? You're gonna stick with three, I can see that. Yes, okay, hold on, hold on, I don't want you to lose, Ron. How about number one, the Ginsu knife, and I also give you, ooh, this nice napkin from your local Mexican restaurant. <laughs> or do you wanna stick with, whoa, hold on. Or do you wanna stick with number three? Okay, you, okay you're gonna stick with number three? Well, that's the fun part, Ron. You're gonna open up that envelope, you're gonna pull out your dollar, show everybody the dollar, they'll be glad that you got it right. Did you find your dollar? Fuck <laughs> no. Oh. What did you find? Uh, hold on. What does it say? Inside your right shoe. Say that again. Look inside your right shoe. Wait, hold on, hold on, Ron. Wait, wait, hold on. This is the big moment. This is the big moment. Look inside your right shoe. Now, have I touched your feet at any time? No. Yeah, that'd be the agony of the feet. Uh, that's a pun for the man out there. What? You love, you want to know? Well, I'll give you another one. Yeah. Yeah. My doctor, I told him I've been drinking brake fluid. He says, I'm concerned. I said, Don't worry, I can stop anytime. <laughs> the other day, I went to my psychiatrist. All I was wearing was cellophane. He looked at me, he said, Clearly, I can see your nuts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, the other day, my buddy he got in a, in a motorcycle accident, and you know what? He lost his whole left side. It doesn't matter, he's all right. All right. I got more, folks. The other day, I went to my psychiatrist. I told him, I think up some curtains. He said, Pull yourself together. <laughs> All right, the other day, I was looking outside my window, some guy was taking my gate. And I was gonna tell him something, but I thought he might take offense. All right. I went to my psychiatrist, I said, I think I'm a teepee in a wigwam. He says, you're too tense. All right. I got a million of them, I'll keep going. Hey, don't egg me on. <laughs> okay, now listen, Ron, this is the big moment. I, on, I want you to take off your shoe in a second, and I don't want you to tip it over. Keep it flat until I tell you. Go ahead, take off your right shoe. Very good. Now, when I say three, I want you to tip it over towards them. Watch what falls out. They're going to go hysterically insane. Ready? One, two, three. Okay. Shake it, Ron. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't work for you. Okay, look. Okay, put your hand in it. Maybe it got stuck. Did you find anything inside there, Ron? No. No, but had the dollar bill been in there, folks, it would have been a miracle. It would have been a miracle, I tell you. Hey, who's got the lemon? See how that works? <laughs> okay. You, you know, Ron, um, shit, I don't know what happened. <laughs> well, um, you know what? I'll tell you what. Ron, you take all these pieces to the bank on Monday morning. You tell them you saw this funny magician. You want your pieces back. Uh, okay, sit down. Sit down. Have a seat. Very good. Hold on. You know, I feel bad. You know what I'm going to do, Ron? I'm going to give you this napkin. Here, close your legs. It's a family show. <laughs> 
Do I dare give you this good set of knives? And wait, that's only worth 99 cents. That's not worth, no, no, don't do that. It's not worth, it's not even worth a dollar yet. So, but uh, you know what? We have a lemon out there. Will you bring the lemon up here for us, please? Let's give her a big round of applause. Will you hand the lemon over to Ron, please? Thank you for being our lemon lady. Very good. Now, Ron, that lemon was 69 cents. That knife is 99 cents. That's a buck 68. Isn't that better than a dollar? Awesome. So would that be a yes? Uh, yes. Thank you. But I know you're not happy with that. And if you were, I don't give a shit. We're going to finish this trick. All right. Here's what you're going to do, Ron. You're going to take the knife. You're going to cut the lemon in half. Go all the way around. Not all the way through. Just all the way around. Very good. When you're done, hand me, listen closely, hand me the knife. Not all the way through. Hand me the knife. Thank you very much. Uh, that's where the napkin, so don't get all over the floor. Up in the air, tear the lemon apart. What did you find there? A buck. No, it's a dollar. If you say a buck, <laughs> we're in trouble. All right. Open up that dollar. Is there a quarter missing? Yes. Will you grab the quarter that's been around your neck all this time? Check to see if it matches. If it matches, everybody here will go crazy. Does it match perfectly, Ron? Yes. Yes, give him a big round of applause. Thank you, Ron. Uh, very good. Uh, I need my, uh, my headgear back. Thank you very much.